So now we're going to take a look at how do we do a variable. And, uh, you know, first thing, let's just see it in action, right? F name colon equals and Todd. There we go. And so I can then come in here and I could use that. Hello. And I could pass in another argument here, F name. And I could format that and then I could run it. And so that format, we have a tool we could use to format, but right here, we'll see that later, right here, you just click format, it automatically formats your code for you. So it's one of the really nice things about Go is your code automatically gets formatted for you. And uh, there's a tool to format the code. You run that tool here at the playground just by clicking format. Uh, and then, you know, when I run it, you could see that it took the variable and it printed out the results. So that should be pretty straightforward, right? This is the shorthand notation for declaring and assigning or initializing a variable. I just used three words there, declare, oops, I spelled that wrong, declare, assign, and initialize. And so when we talk about variables and, you know, in declaring them, assigning them, initializing, uh, we'll, we'll use these three different words. What do those mean in programming? So one way I could declare a variable Right, like if I wanted to declare a last name and I could declare variables inside functions, outside functions. Basically, if you've had some experience with programming, uh, the, uh, the scope in uh, Go is block level scope. And so, you know, here the scope of F name is only inside of those braces right there. And here it would be inside of the package. Um, and then uh, here, if I wanted to do L name, var L name, so we're talking about declaring and assigning and initializing. What's the difference? Var L name is also a string. So here I have declared that the variable L name is of type string. And so Go is statically typed. We always got to tell the computer, you know, the compiler, hey, uh, you know, this variable is of this type. And if we, and this is declaration right there. So here's how you do a comment. Right, so I declared. And then here would be assignment. When I'm ready to use that, I could do L name. L name is equal to, and since uh, I've already declared it, I just use the equal. Colon equal is the shorthand where it figures out the type for you. And, uh, and, uh, and then, you know, um, if you're just gonna assign, you just use equal. So last name would be McLeod. And I could add that here. And it's actually going to jam everything together. And I'll show you how to fix that in a second. I run this and you can see uh, undefined, declare, assign, initialize. What is all that stuff? So I could comment that out. And here's the other way you could do a clump comment. So if you wanted to comment big chunks, you do it like that. So now I run that and I put Todd McLeod. So uh, it actually added a space, which is kind of nice. I forgot that it does that for you. So uh, I could take that space out there too and run it and the formatting gets a little bit better. Hello, Todd McLeod. All right, so you've seen how to use both, uh, you know, var to sort of declare a variable and, uh, and then we could do assigning a variable right here. And so that's declare and assign. And then here we uh, declare, assign, we initialize all at the same time, right? So initializing is we need to declare and assign at the same time. So I'm initializing this variable. It's kind of uh, splitting hairs, but I just want you to sort of understand the difference between those three words. And these are the two ways in Go that I want you to declare and assign or initialize variables, either with the shorthand notation or with var. I don't want you to do it any other way. So every programming language has a few warts, and this is one of Go's. There's a couple of different ways you could, you know, do variable declaration and, and uh, assignment initialization. I want you to stick with these two methods right here. It's just going to make things cleaner. And uh, colon equals, right, is, uh, you know, as much as possible, use that. You could only use this colon equals, the shorthand no notation, inside of a function, right? And then var... Uh, use var when you, uh, you know, when you want to, uh, 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 when you want to initialize to the zero value. So every, every variable type, uh, every type has a zero value. 
and uh, and var should only be used and I'm just generally speaking here but the, this is the general rule when you want to uh, when you want a variable to be initialized to its to its zero value so for what's that mean so for instance if I have var l name string and let's actually make this int and then I'm going to take out uh, my uh, assignment right there so I'm just declaring it as an int and I guess maybe we make it age right and then age and I'll make it a little bit more clear so now when I run this what happens right it gave me zero because the zero value of an int is zero if this had been a float and we use either int for an int or float 64 for uh, a float if I run that right uh, it would be zero zero I don't know why it's just showing zero something's happening in the background there where it does it but the zero value for uh, a float 64 or zero zero so you can learn about the go 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 lang zero value right you could learn about the zero values basically an int is zero a float 64 is uh, zero zero a string is just empty empty quotes right empty string and then everything else is uh, is nil not null it's nil n i l it's nil all right so that's uh, that's uh, declaring assigning initializing that's using shorthand and uh, and then that's also um, you know using var and so var could be used anywhere I could have used var inside a function or outside the function um, but shorthand whoops, shorthand can only be used inside of a, of a function it's the only place you could use shorthand and then we also saw a little bit about scope and so with scope uh, right like here the scope of uh, these you know variables is only within these braces right here so we have we have block level scope right but before I had this up here right and the scope was you know basically uh, the whole package which means if I had some other function func second print age I don't know it'll call it second func and if I had some other function here that I could then you know funked print line print line and then pass in age right it will have access to age in this function here and I could call a second here call that function right there and format all this and run it and so it called the second function I created another function so all functions create with the func keyword and then we have the name of the function and then this is where we pass in any you know we declare we we define this function with parameters right there and uh, and then this is how you call the function and I'm not passing in any arguments right and so when it calls it basically runs this code and that code right there prints out zero all right so that's uh and you can see that the the scope that's to illustrate the scope of age is the whole package so I could access age here I could access it here whereas the scope of f name is not available there when I run this right undefined f name because f name only exists in that block right there all right, so that's a little bit about scope and uh, about uh, how, how do we uh, use variables.